is Mrs. Plummer and I am back. Today I am going to teach you how to use estimation when dividing to figure out where to place your decimal and your quotient. So our first problem here is we have 6 and 23 hundredths divided by 3. I am first going to round my number with a decimal to the nearest whole number, which in this case is going to be 6. I know this because when I look in my tenths place, I see a 2. I know anything lower than a 5 is going to make this digit remain the same. If it were 5 or greater, then I would bump that up to a 7. But today I'm going to leave it a 6. Now I'm going to divide that whole number by a 3. That gets me to an estimated quotient of 2. Notice I said estimated because that's not the real deal. Here comes the real deal. Okay. Now if I divide 6 and 23 hundredths and I divide that by 3, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to ignore that decimal. I'm going to get rid of them. I'm going to say, I don't need you right now. I will get you when I need you. But right now, I don't need you. So goodbye for now. See you later. Get out of here. Okay, bye. Now, I'm just going to simply divide. How many times is 3 going to 6? That goes in twice. So I put my 2 above, and I say 2 times 3 is 6. I find the difference, 0. I drop down my next number, which is a 2. Then I say, well, how many times does 3 go into 2? Zero. So I stick a zero at the top. Zero times 3 is nothing, so I just go to the next one. I drop down this number. Now I have 23. How many times does 3 go into 23? Seven. Okay, so I multiply that, and then I have a remainder of 2. Remainder of 2. Now, this is when I bring that decimal back in. I look at my estimated quotient, which was 2. Well, now I have a number of 207. Well, I know I can't really be 207 because the quotient's going to be smaller than the number I begin with, right? So I look at 207 and I say, oh, I know. If I put that decimal back in, in between the 2 and the 0, that is really, really close to my estimated quotient of 2. So my actual quotient is going to be 2 and 7 hundredths, which is pretty stinking close to 2. All right, now I'd like you to try some on your own and see if you can figure out how to let estimation of quotients help you figure out where to put a decimal when dividing with decimals. See ya!